Hey guys, so this is a video how I take notes using RemNote when watching a video on YouTube. So first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be watching this video on early computing from Crash Course Computer Science over here. So I'm gonna start in RemNote and I'm gonna say over here, create, and I'm gonna start by creating a folder. And that folder, because it's a series, is gonna be called Crash Course Computer Science. Then I'm gonna add a document. And then this document is number one. So Crash Course Computer Science number one. And I'm going to title that the document over here. So now I'm ready to take notes inside this document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my screen. I'm going to drag this over to the side. So I'm going to have my notes on one side and the video on the other side over here. Uh, let's just see if I can bring myself up to the side. All right. So before I get started in watching this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn subtitles on and I'm also going to click on these little dots and click on open transcript so I can see all of the words that she's going to say. And some people like timestamps. I'm going to turn the timestamps off so I just get all of the words over here. That way, when I take notes and I create my questions, I'm going to be able to see them as well as I hear them over here. So let's get started. I'm going to watch and you're going to watch me make some flashcards in real time. So let's do it. Over the course of this series, we're going to go from bits, bytes, transistors, and logic gates, all the way to operating systems, virtual reality, and robots. We're going to cover a lot, but just to clear things up, we are not going to teach you how to program. Instead, we're going to explore a range of computing topics as a discipline and a technology. Computers are the lifeblood of today's world. If they were to suddenly turn off all at once, the power grid would shut down. So what would happen if all computers were to suddenly turn off all at once. And let's do a multi-step a list over here. So we have cars would crash, planes would fall, the power grid would shut down, water treatment plants would stop, Stock markets would freeze. Trucks would know where to deliver. Yeah, it's pretty important. Employees wouldn't get paid. God forbid. All right, keep going. Down. Cars would crash, planes would fall, water treatment plants would stop, stock markets would freeze, trucks with food wouldn't know where to deliver, and employees wouldn't get paid. Even many non-computer objects, like DFTDA shirts and the chair I'm sitting on, are made in factories run by computers. Computing really has transformed nearly every aspect of our lives. And this isn't the first time we've seen this sort of technology-driven global change. Advances in manufacturing during the Industrial Revolution brought a new scale to human civilization. That so... It wasn't the first time we've seen this sort of technology driven global change. When was the last time we saw technology driven global change? To the Industrial Revolution. <laughs> All right, let's go back. So the Industrial here you can include an image if you want so maybe i go over here and i go get the... actually no, i'll just pull it from the video all right let me pause this real quick so i'm going to screen capture this image over here i use windows shift s over here and i can paste that in here so i can include it in my notes over here so the Industrial Revolution, we'll keep going. Industrial Revolution brought a new scale to human civilization in agriculture, industry, and domestic life. Mechanization meant superior harvest. So in agriculture, industry, and domestic life. So during the Industrial Revolution, what were the three types of change brought by technology? Or there might be more than three, but let's say so. Let's do multi list over here agriculture, industry, domestic life. All right, let's keep going. It's a more food, mass produced goods, cheaper. Let's maybe get one of these images, screenshot this as an example. So that would be agriculture over here. So I can hit enter, hit tab, and include that image under agriculture, make it a little smaller. Superior harvests and more food, mass produced goods, cheap. So, mass produced goods represented by 
going on over here. I think this one was travel, domestic life, put that one under there. You'll see I'm going to be going back and forth a lot for some of these. Uh, images are really helpful for me to get a visual uh, recollection of what's going on. So let me paste that, control V one more time. So let it load and go back to this image. So that was the industry, that was mechanization, that one was industry with trains. So let's take a screenshot of that. Enter tab. Um, one nice thing is I can hide those images under this little toggle if I don't want them. Um, so I can collapse them. So if I want to see the image, I'll do that for the time being as I have these nice and hidden over here. Let's keep going. Travel and communication, and usually a better quality of life. And computing technology is doing the same right now, from automated farming and medical equipment to global. So how is computer technology now, and the video is made in, let's see, 2017. So now, as of 2017, affecting the same level of global change. So we have over here uh, automated automated farming, medical equipment, global telecommunications, <laughs> educational opportunities, new frontiers. For example, tab, virtual reality, artificial intelligence, AI, self-driving cars. So this is already, I'm unpacking a lot of information over here. Um, so obviously I'm, I could keep going. This is just a minute and um, the more I go into it, the better I'll understand it. But this is what my flashcards looks like so far when I practice my REM. So during the Industrial Revolution, what were the three types of change brought by technology? Those changes were um, industrialization of the factories. They were um, agriculture, industry, and domestic life, right? Agriculture, so it took me a while, I'd say recalled with effort over there. How is computer technology of 2017 affecting the same level of global change? Um, well, there are a lot of them. Uh, 2017, that would be um, robotics with artificial intelligence. They're doing uh, global, uh, like phones, telecommunications over here. Um, what else was there? Uh, medical equipment, I don't remember them all. So I'd say partially recalled over here for this one. I wasn't able to pull all five. What would happen if all computers were just really turned off at once? Cars would crash. Our cars would shut down. Planes would crash. Stock market would freeze. Um, that's three of them. Might be helpful to turn this one into a list. But I, I only partially got some of those guys. So you can kind of see how I'm using these flashcards, how I'm pulling the information from the video, and how these can help us review it, super easy just to click on practice uh, over here to continue working over here. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep making these flashcards, but I think you guys get the gist of how I pull it from a video. I use the subtitles. I watch it. I'll use Windows Shift S, uh, which is screen capture over here. So Windows Shift on a PC. That's how to do a, the screen recorder. It's a really easy shortcut over here. Go. Um, and then to practice my flashcards, I can click practice REM. So I hope that was helpful as a little introduction of how I take notes from videos and then turn those notes into flashcards, including images in them, because I think the images, it's part of your working memory. Um, if you have questions, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video, and I hope you guys enjoy this and make some great notes from it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.